Before we change gears, I do want to go on a little bit of a rant here oh, about yes, coaches. Please, please so do. this preceded the show because this report <laughs> from Frank Saravalli came out about 10 minutes before our show began, and it got me a little riled up because the report was, so this came out about a couple of hours ago, was that uh, Reardon, uh, the assistant coach in Pittsburgh in charge of Todd Reardon, the assistant coach in charge of the power play in Pittsburgh, was relieved of his duties. Um, Mike Sullivan remains the head coach, but Reardon is no longer the assistant coach. And Dubas basically in the release basically said, we did this, you know, after much discussion for the last two weeks between me and Mike Sullivan, we decided this was the right way to go. About 10 minutes before the show starts, Frank Saravalli tweets out, there was no sort of shortage of friction in Pittsburgh, where as we report it, Coach Mike Sullivan was vehemently opposed to making changes to his staff. Now that Kyle Dubas has fired assistant coach Todd Reardon, is that the tipping point on Sullivan's tenure? We shall see. The reason why this riled me up is for this reason, okay? <laughs> Todd Reardon coaches the power play. That's his, one of his primary jobs. The Pittsburgh Penguins power play this year ranked 30th. It had a 15.3% efficiency rate. 0.2 better than Columbus at 31st. Yes. <laughs> Worse than the Montreal Canadiens, the Chicago Blackhawks, the Anaheim Ducks, the San Jose Sharks, the Ottawa Senators. Like, these are bad teams. And quite a few of these teams have very little in the way of any talent. The Penguins have Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, Chris Letang, and Eric Carlson. They have... Three guys who are definitely going to be Hall of Famers and a fourth who most likely also will be in Chris Letang. He's probably a little bit more on the borderline, but I think he probably ultimately makes it. That's my guess. The Cups get him in. I think so. He gets one of them. Yeah, he really wasn't, but this is hockey, remember. <laughs> my point is, is this, and this is what riles me up. It blows me away how many NHL coaches who present themselves as all about accountability and being a hard ass and making it so like, hey, if you're not getting the job done on the ice, we'll scratch you because we hold everyone to such a high standard in this organization that they present that. And then when someone above them presents the possibility that maybe one of their assistants is not doing that great of a job because, you know, we have 15% efficiency power play with like one of the 10 best players of all time who is an incredible power play player. It probably ain't his fault. I'm guessing it's the coach. And then these coaches who are all about accountability during the regular season are like, no, not only do I think that's a bad idea, I'm going to throw a temper tantrum if you try to do it. Like the double standard is bonkers to me. Todd Reardon should have been fired the day after the season ended. It should not have even been a question. And I know that Mike Sullivan probably thinks, probably he's, a, probably thinks he's a great guy and probably thinks he's real smart. And you know what? Todd Reardon, maybe both of those things. But if you coach a power play with Sidney Crosby on it that has a 15% efficiency rate, you aren't good at your job. I'm sorry. You're not. You should be fired. That's, That's accountability. As bad as the Flyers power play is. And like... It should be better. I don't care who's on it. If it was just their third line, it should be better than 12%. You have more guys than the other team. You can convince me it's the players. Sure. Like it, to, I think it, it should be better. Yeah, it should be better. Yeah. But like <laughs> the players aren't very good. There's almost nothing you could say to convince me. Like, oh, no, it's it, Reardon's doing a great job. It's the dudes on the ice. No, it isn't. It's definitely not. <laughs> no, it fucking isn't. I'm sorry. You can convince me a lot of things that are wrong with that team. Like, you know, they're just getting older and they can't do what they... Okay. There's absolutely no reason Evgeny Malkin can't stand still and beat the goalie with a one-timer. Yeah, like, exactly. You can't convince me that he, that's gone from his repertoire. No. Unless, like, if it is, he shouldn't be playing. That means his back can't support a slap shot anymore. <laughs> like, that's... I just... It's absolutely insane. But we've seen this... Oh, we see it all the time, which is why How it pisses me off so Le much. How long did Anne get to coach this penalty kill? Anne LaPerriere might be a great developmental coach. He might be doing a good job with the Phantoms. I have no idea. I'll tell you what I do know to be true. He cannot coach a penalty kill in the NHL. <laughs> no. He's bad at it. He's bad at I it. I know he's bad at it because the results said he was bad yeah, at it. Yeah, exactly. Like, like, this like, Flyers power play, it's coached poorly. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's coached poorly. Rocky Thompson shouldn't have these. Yeah. But, Head coaches get to keep their guys most of the time. Yeah, but it's just, 
it's just one of those things where it ticks me off because the double standard and the hypocrisy is so obvious where it's like, well, the players, we can scratch whoever the hell we want because accountability, but like my bud, the assistant coach. And again, this isn't just shitting on Mike Sullivan. Like, obviously, most Flyers fans are going to jump to John Tortorella with Rocky Thompson. Yeah. I'll go back to like Peter Laviolette has kept assistant coaches that coach poorly performing units for years because he likes them because there is bud. Elaine Vigneault refused to dump Michelle Terry when it was clear he wasn't that good at what the job he was doing. And the players didn't like him either. Like coaches have one standard for their players and one standard for their assistants. And I just wish they held their assistants to the same accountability that they talk about being so important. What if he would fire his assistant, but the assistant has family in town, so he just can't talk to him? <laughs> oh my He's God. A- okay. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> We all city like the mayor. 